It's been a busy month around here. Between lambing, shearing, hauling, and surviving, there hasn't been much time to make videos. But we've been doing lots of sheeping. It is a lovely spring day out here. We're shearing in the snow today. It's getting western around here. Let's get sheeping. Every spring starts off the same way. The sheep come off the desert and all the sheep get a good haircut before they head off to the lambing sheds. By having their wool off, it helps in the lambing process, prepares the sheep for the hot summer months to come, and the wool they produce goes into all sorts of useful things all over the world. Getting shearers here on time is extremely important. We try and leave the sheep on the winter range as long as we can. Every day the sheep are home, we have to feed lots of hay to keep everything satisfied. And believe me, it starts to add up in a real hurry. Us, along with all the other producers that use this shearing crew, are scheduled many months in advance for the days they'll be here. They have a hard job of racing the rain and the snow every day to try and stay on schedule. When it rains or snows and the sheep are wet, they aren't able to shear. That means that everyone else down the line waiting to get sheared also has to wait however long it takes for them to finish the job they're on. We try and shear a few days before we start lambing, so they go straight from the shearing plant right into the lamb sheds. If the sheep start lambing before we can get them sheared, it creates quite the mess and makes it a lot more difficult to keep everything straight, as you're going to see coming up soon. With snow in the forecast for the next couple days, we were glad to see the shearers when they showed up about halfway through the day. We were able to take advantage of the last decent weather we would see for the next little while and get a few sheep sheared on our main corrals and get them worked as they came out of the plant before we headed them over to the lamb sheds. We're running these through, bagging them, seeing which ones are going to lamb first. The ones that are going to lamb first, we're running through the chute and into the plant and getting them all done getting them taken care of so we can get them over to the barn and in the barn tonight because they're probably going to lamb in the next couple of days. Those that aren't going to lamb for a little bit, we are leaving them outside and we'll get them in maybe tomorrow or the next day to shear. We got lots of good help here helping us shear. We'll get everything done. We run them in. We give them some of this stuff. Helps kill the lice and ticks and keeps them healthy. Give them a shot. As we finished the first day of shearing, we headed those that we got done over to the lamb shed so they could get into the heated barns. We started tearing everything down and getting ready to move over to the barn down the road so no matter the weather, we could get everything sheared. It's another beautiful day today. We were shearing all day, well, half the day yesterday. The shearers are a little bit behind because of the weather we've been having. It's been snowing and raining all over the place, so they were a little bit behind what we were planning on, and uh, they're doing their best to keep caught up. But they showed up yesterday about noon, so we sheared about 500 head yesterday. And today, even though it looks nice and beautiful, we're supposed to get six inches of snow today. So. We had to move everything over last night, tore everything down, moved it over to the shed, put the sheep under the shed, and we're gonna shear out of the barn today so we can keep them from getting wet. So, hopefully it works out. Hopefully it uh, stays good long enough. We can get everything set up and ready to go. We gotta go gather up the ones that have already lambed, and uh, we'll shear them, and then hopefully those guys will get here and we'll start shearing the rest of them. It's gonna be a good day. With 
storm coming. We had to cover this whole entire thing up with tarps so that the sheep don't get wet when they're coming out of the shed. So, built us a tunnel. So we're shearing in the snow today. else covered up but the wool right here where it comes out of the plant and we've got one canopy set up but it's just not quite enough to keep everything dry so we got to get a couple of more canopies over here to keep the wool dry and uh, then we'll be good to go we'll shear some serious sheep in the snow today we've got our shearing tunnel engaged keeping all the sheep dry getting everything under the plant we'll go grab a couple of canopies Keep this wool nice and dry, we'll be in business. <coughs> when the wool is taken off the sheep, the shear is faded under the chute and out to the people sorting and processing it. Wool is sorted into different categories based on its quality and then taken to the wool baler and pressed into these white sacks. Depending on the size of each fleece, they can squeeze in around 50 fleeces in each one of these bags, making them weigh in at around 450 pounds. If there's a lot of moisture in the wool when it gets baled, the whole thing can be ruined. Our job is to make sure the sheep are as dry as possible going into the shearing plant and keeping the wool dry as it comes out and goes into the baler. Got all sorts of tarps, gardener wool, and awnings, and canopies. It's working out pretty good though, keeping us all dry. It's not very warm. It's still about 16 degrees, so it's not very toasty. But at least we're shearing, so that's good. So, since we're supposed to be lambing right now, and uh, some of these sheep have lambed without being sheared, we can go run up in the other shed and go do some shearing up there while everybody else is shearing down here. Been a good day of shearing today. Got a whole bunch sheared. It's just about quitting time for these guys and they'll pack up for the day and uh, head out of here. Be back in the morning. So we got to get a bunch more sheep from over at the other place into here and put under the shed so they're dry in the morning. And then we can keep on shearing in the morning. I think it's supposed to snow all night long and all day tomorrow. So at least we got somewhere we can sh shear. We'll be golden. I love it. Springtime. Got Dooler out, unstuck, three feet of snow. The little, the little rancher doesn't do so. 
so good in the deep snow. So we're gonna bring these rest way out of the cedars onto the highway over to the llama shed and uh, hopefully bring them in the barn tonight so they can dry off and get warm. Then tomorrow we'll be able to share them, hopefully. At least that's the plan and our plans never change. So that's what we're going for now. It took us almost four days to get everything done, but thankfully we were able to get this bunch all taken care of. The only thing left to do was to run them back to the squeeze and get them doctored up and sorted into different bunches depending on when they were going to have their lambs. Today we got to work all the sheep that we sheared the last couple of days. It's a nice beautiful blue sky, sunny summer day. And uh, we've got to get the squeeze out of the ground. It's been sitting there for the last couple of months where we've had it and where it was about eight degrees this morning. It was a little frozen in the ground. So we got to dig that thing out, see if we can get it out, get her packed up, hooked up, and haul her on over to the lambing shed. Then we can work everything, get everything put back in the sheds and ready for lambing. Well, after some digging, we got the old girl out of there. She was not just a little frozen, she was a lot frozen into the ground. So now she's packed up, ready to go. She's mobile, got the wheels back on her. Sides folded up, everything ready to go. We're gonna cruise out of here and go work some sheep. It's gonna be a good day. One of the best things about this Tapari shoot is the fact that in just a couple of minutes we can have the wheels on it and take it anywhere we need to. This makes a huge difference being able to bring it to the sheep and not having to always bring the sheep to it. Squeeze all set up and ready to go. We gotta run the ones that are a little lamb a little bit later in the shed, the ones that are pregnant. Right up and into the sheds over there and the ones that aren't pregnant, right into the horse trailer and we'll haul them out of here. It's gonna be a good day. 